Everywhere I've gone, people ask what I'm wearing. Doesn't even take greener than Kermit. Oh, is what they're saying. And there will come a day when the style will go away. What will they say about me? When the song's done, I know they'll say, What the hell's the show? And go watch TGV. Hello and welcome back to Not A Watch Knob, I am your host Bill, and today we are talking about a watch I've wanted for a very long time. It's also probably one of the most fascinating watches I've ever owned. Check it out! The year was 1960 in Flushing, New York. The Beatles, Batman, and bad acting were all the rage. Please honey, don't never leave me without saying nothing. Bulova was cooking up something the world had never seen. Called the Accutron, which stood for Accuracy Through Electronics, it was the world's first electronic watch that used a tuning fork to keep time. Engineer Max Hetzel developed the transistor movement, which was able to achieve an unprecedented precision of one minute per month. The way this watch works is you have freely vibrating elements at the tip of each tine of the tuning fork, which interacts with the drive coils located at the top of the movement. The drive coils generate a pulsating magnetic field which keeps the tuning fork humming. The tuning fork is located in between the drive coils and goes all the way down to the 6 o'clock position. The cell coil assembly transfers energy from the battery not seen to the transistor circuit that controls the tuning fork frequency. Those are located at the 9 o'clock position. This micro tuning fork oscillates at 360 hertz, which was a way higher frequency of that of a classical balance wheel. Therefore, giving this watch 99.9977% accuracy and a unique humming sound. The most sought after version of this watch by collectors is the Space View. The Space View had originally been intended as a demonstration model, something to allow salesmen to show off how the movement worked, and that quickly became a craze. This watch is so accurate that the CIA secretly procured Accutron astronaut watches as standard issue gear for the A-12 pilots. The legendary A-12 jet was the fastest thing in the skies. And with all that power, you need an even more powerful watch. So Accutron was up to the challenge. The Accutron was also issued to the Mercury 7 astronauts, and famously Gordon Cooper wore an Accutron astronaut on his final Project Mercury flight. The specs of this watch are as follows. The case is gold filled with a stainless steel back. It's got a case diameter of 34 millimeters. It's lug to lug is 38 millimeters. The crystal is plexiglass, the movement is a caliber 214, and its model date is from 1966. The pros and cons of this watch are as follows. Well, for one con, I couldn't seem to get this watch to start up when I first got it. So I brought it to my jeweler, who then replaced the battery thinking that it was a battery issue, and then he couldn't get it to start up, and furiated, I then started to text the guy who I bought it from and, you know, was probably pissing him the hell off. Uh, long story short, after I started acting like a complete buffoon, it started working again. So then I called a jeweler friend of mine and I asked him about tuning fork watches to which he replied, because a lot of them are a lot older, they are very temperamental. Whether that's true or not, that's for you to decide. I was doing some research online, I didn't really see much, but maybe I just got a shitter. Uh, long story short. I'm giving it a fake con because it's a con to me. Um, a pro of this watch is just look at the dial. I mean, look at how beautiful and it, it, it kind of looks like a bomb. I'm not going to lie or, or like a bug's eye, but, but you know what? It is, it's still just so beautiful and unique. It's an eye grabber. I see people staring at it. They're probably thinking, what the fuck is he wearing? But I, I'm wearing this watch because I, I think it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen, but it's so fascinating and so unique. I mean, just, it's, it's like a pug almost. It's so ugly. It's cool. It's so ugly. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, look at this face. Um, it's so mesmerizing. You could just look at every little movement. It looks like it was hand assembled by elves. Just everything is so small in there. And uh, I love the little transistors and the, the battery cell. It's just a cool watch to look at. 
Also love the case back. The way you uh, operate this watch is, is actually kind of neat. You actually have to flip open this little tab on the back to adjust the time. And uh, I think that's that's kind of cool compared to a, uh, a normal crown. It actually just does uh, the exact same thing, just um, it's hidden, which I think is, is really unique. I also really like the lettering on the back of this watch. I think it, it, it gives it a lot of uh, style and a lot of taste. It has all of the gold filled. It has Bulova. It's it just really, I don't know, I think it's a beautiful case back. All in all, I think I'd rate this watch a... 8 out of 10. <laughs> I think I did the last one. <laughs> Overall, I think I'd rate this watch a... Um, honestly, a 10 out of 10. I mean, this thing is just freaking cool. 